Let's check out the port forwarding process for the Netgear DGN 2200 and I'm gonna make this a more practical example by using a real application like a torrent client. In this particular tutorial I'll be showing you how to choose a safe port and how to tell your torrent client which port to use and when I say a safe port I mean that our system is using ports by itself for particular services and you don't want to be obscuring with any web services so Usually good numbers are really high numbers like in between 46,000 to 65,000. So let's just make a note of that. So these are safe ports. So we have to decide which port we're going to use. So let's just randomly choose 49,000. And we need to tell to our torrent client to use that port. And then we need to port forward it to our router's interface. So let's just firstly open up our torrent client and you will see this yellow icon down here it says no direct connection this may indicate network configuration problems and it actually does mean that as you will see here on our options and connections tab that it uses a randomly selected port it's 7083 and you can see the options either from the options button or tools and under the tools there's the options button and you will see that this icon remains yellow no matter how much time passes no matter that we have some uh, torrents already sitting but we have no connections so first thing you need to do is just exit your torrent client and run our very good friend the pf port checker tool and right click on it and run as administrator best thing you do and you will see here that I have selected the 49,000 port, the one we need to check. And I'm going to check it for both protocols, TCP and UDP, and just click the check me button. And most likely I'm going to just see the same result in both the tests that our port is not open. As you see over here, I'm going to run it for the UDP. And again, yes, the port is not open, not reachable. So just click on the exit button. And now let's just run our Qubiter and client again. It has a very similar similar uh, interface like most of the torrent clients, like mTorrent or uTorrent or whatever uh, you may call it. <laughs> and let's just click again on, on our options button and let's go on. In the connection tab, and we're gonna tell our Qubitrain to use the 49,000 port. So I'm gonna type in port and just click apply and then OK. And again, you'll see that no matter how much time passes, our icon will still be yellow because we have done just half the job. So let's just go to our torrent client icon here in the taskbar, right click on it, and hit exit again. And the first thing we need to do is we want to go into our router's interface and you can see that underneath the Netgear DGN 2200 there is a small, you know, uh, subscription that says your default IP uh, address and if you're not sure about the numbers or your router is pretty old or, you know, it's, uh, you know, crossed over or something like that, or you can find your manual and stuff like that. Just click on your Windows button, click CMD, and just type in IP config. And you will see here that in my case, my Ethernet double locator connection has an IP address of 192.168.0.100, and that's my own IP. I'm gonna name make a note of that like my IP 192.168.0.100 and my default gateway is 192.168.0.1 so router IP 192.168.0.1 and actually this is the the default IP address for our Netgear DGN 2200 so just go ahead and close this and let's open up our browser Oh, our channel. Anyway, open up a new tab and 
type in 192.168.0.1 just click the, uh, hit the enter button and you will see here that it prompts you to uh, type in your username and password the default username and password for the Netgear DGN 2200 is username admin and password is <laughs> password as funny as it sounds so I've already you know typed in and I'm gonna click OK or log in on or everything else it just prompts you to do and the option you want to you know search for is under content filtering and you will see the port forwarding slash port triggering option just click on that one and you will see here that I have some services already forwarded to use like remote desktop or Ubu, something like Skype and Qubitrend running from my laptop. Of course, you can see a different IP here and different ports. So you can find on some routers like uh, DGN 2200 uh, some uh, ready made services for you, but most of the time they're like very outdated or some basic stuff that you will barely use, like Age of Empire or FTP, HTTP, and stuff like that. Most of us, you know, common users will use this option that says add custom service. And we need to just click on that one to perform our QBitrend client. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it QBitrend desktop because this is my desktop. And the service type I'm gonna leave it to TCP slash UDP because most of the torrent clients use uh, incoming and outgoing connections so just leave it at that and I'm gonna type in our selected port and that's 49,000 oops yep that's it 49,000 or starting and ending port because we don't want to open any other ports and our server IP address will be my static IP that I've selected for my computer and my IP is 192.168.0.100 so I just need to type in 100 and then hit apply so basically after this process you're good to go and as you can see I don't have any errors just you know got back to my previous page it says that I'm using 49,000 port for this service on this IP so in order to check if this actually works just log out on the X minimize or close your browser whatever you want and let's go again to our very good friend PF port checker and I'm gonna right click and run as administrator and here I'm gonna check again my Google port 49,000 or protocol TCP and UDP both so just hit the check me button just give it some time okay so this is a good example although we have you know performed and done everything right you can see that it says your port is not open or not reachable so let's just hit the check me button again and you can see that your port is open on this computer if you do this you know two or three times and you get not open or not reachable all the time that means that you haven't done something correctly or you are blocked by a firewall or an antivirus or something like that but if you get the same result after clicking the check me button you know four or five times and it says that your port is open then you're good to go so do the same thing for your UDP and it says my port is open, just run it a couple of times just to make sure okay so I guess we're good to go just click on the X button and the next thing we're gonna check is our torrent client so I'm gonna fire up QBitrend again and let's see yep, we got our torrent active and oh yeah we got this status icon going green and it says connection status online so basically I can upload and download without any problems and that's it people